In an earthquake, these rats with tiny backpacks are trained to find survivors. After the devastating earthquake in Turkey and Syria on Monday with more than 35,000 deaths, rescuers have been racing to find survivors in the rubble of collapsed buildings. At some sites, search and rescue dogs are aiding the effort. But future disasters might also get help from an unlikely source who are rats that are currently training to work in earthquakes aftermath. They can go deep into the rubble and penetrate where dogs may not be able to go. The Apopo organization has been working with rats for more than a decade to detect landmines in Africa, relying on the rats' extraordinary sense of smell. As they train for future disasters, the rats wear a backpack with a tiny camera, which can send a video feed to a rescuer's phone outside. It also has a two-way microphone, making it possible for a rescue team to talk to a victim. The rats also wear a vest with a micro-switch that they are trained to pull when they locate someone. Rescuers can send a signal that beeps back to the rats to tell them to return to the surface and receive a reward like peanuts or a mix of bananas and avocados. The backpack tech was difficult to design since GPS often can't work under a pile of debris. The team used multiple technologies with the understanding that the video stream won't always be accessible. The device also uses a lower frequency signal that should be able to travel through the rubble to transmit the location of a victim. Apopo is working on making the equipment as small and lightweight as possible, though the rats were able to adapt even to a bulky first iteration of the design. The rats, which are a large species called the Gambian pouch trat, evolved to explore underground and can use their sense of smell to quickly find humans. If they lose a signal, they can find their way back to the surface on their own. A robot might just get stuck. A group of rats are in training at Apopa's facility in Tanzania where they spend 15 minutes each day moving through a site designed to look like a collapsed structure. They've successfully learned to find victims, trigger a switch to share the location, and navigate out of rubble on command. 